Hi everyone, good day to all of you. I am Sheila Maynasha and for this video, i-discuss ko kung paano gamitin yung the Polyas for step problem solving strategy. So, sa lesson na ito, kailangan nyo lang tandaan ang apat na ito. First, understanding the problem. Make sure you understand what the question is asking and what information will be used to solve the problem. Second, devise a plan. Figure out what method you will use to solve the problem. Third, carry, carry out the plan. Ito yung parang solution mo. Magsisilbing solution mo. Fourth, review the solution. Dito mo ito double check yung answer mo kung may mali ba or kung may na mislook ka. So, now let's proceed to the example. So, our example is the number of ducks and pigs. The number of ducks and pigs in a field totals 35. The total number of legs among them is 98. Assuming each duck has exactly two legs and each pig has exactly four legs, determine how many ducks and how many pigs are in the field. So, ayan, malinaw naman kung ano yung hinahanap natin. So, let's proceed to our first step. Understand the problem or understanding the problem. We need to find how many ducks and how many pigs are in the field given that there are a total of 35 ducks and pigs and a total of 98 legs legs of ducks and pigs all together in the field so second step is devise a plan guess at a solution and then check the result represent x as number of ducks and y as number of pigs so x number of ducks y as number of pigs so since ducks has two legs each we represent it as two x and since pig has four legs we represent it as four y the total number of ducks and pigs is 35 this can be expressed as x plus y is equals to 35 or equation 1 ito yung equation 1 natin para mas madali yung makabisado at maintindihan so x plus y equals 35 is an 1 so the number of legs of ducks and pigs all together is 98 this can be expressed as 2x plus 4y is equal to 98 or equation 2. So, ayan, tandaan natin yung mga given. And then, let's try to solve it. Carry out the plan. So, first, solve the equation 1 and equation 2. So, solve muna natin yung equation 1 by multiplying with 2. After that, isa-subtract natin siya sa equation 2. So, ito yung equation 1. 2 times x plus y. Tapos, ito yung equation 1 natin. x plus y is equal to 35. So, ayan. Multiplied by 2. 2 times x is equal to 2x. 2 times y is equal to 2y. And, 2 times 35 is equal to 70. So, now, subtracting the answer above, answer above, ito, from equation 2. Equation 2 natin is 2x plus 4y is equal to 98, diba? So, ayan, humultip, susubtract, susubtract lang daw natin. So, canceled na tong 2x baleng na tira na lang 4y and 2y. So, 4y minus 2y is 2y pa rin. So, dito naman, 
28 minus 70 is 28. So, yan. 28 divided by 2 is equals to 14. At the y na lang yung natira. So, ano nga yung y natin? y is the number of pigs. So, ayan. Nasagot na yung isa sa mga hinahanap natin. Next. Substitute the value of y in equation 1. We will get x plus y is equal to 35. So, substitute lang daw natin yung y dito ng 14. So, x plus 14 is equal to 5. So, para makuha yung x, minus lang natin yung 35 sa 14. So, 35 minus 14 is equal to 21. So, ayan na yung, yung y and x natin. x is equal to dax. And y is equal to pigs. So, therefore, there are 21 ducks and 14 pigs in the field. So, review the solution. So, dito, when you substitute the value of x and y in equation 2, we will get 2 times 21 pl plus 4 times 14 is equal to 98. So, tinry ko yan sa calculator ko. Tama naman. So, means it is correct because when you add 21 and 14 the total is 35 35 which is the total number of ducks and pigs according to the given so pati yang pati yan tama yan kasi sabi yan doon sa given so according to that tama naman yung ginawa natin nag-make sense naman siya. And that's all. Thank you. Sana may natutunan kayo.